let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Um, I think it just worked out that way. Um, guys just got open. Uh, well, I mean, they did run a few coverages where we thought we may, ha may have a few shots, and I think um, Coach Ferry got Coach Ferry Geller did a great job of calling the plays he did when he did, and um, I think we were able to catch him a little bit off guard and um, make a few big plays. So, and I think um, as an offensive unit, our, our our first goal is to get positive yards, three or four plus yards on first down, to put ourselves in a good position to be able to pick up a third down. So um, I think we did a great job of that today, and we just got to keep it up. I mean, can't say enough about those guys and the job they're doing right now. Um, they also opened up a couple of holes for Justin today, and um, they've just done a great job the whole year. I think that was the first time I got sacked. Well, I actually didn't get sacked. They credited me with one. And I think they're pretty upset about that one, just as I am. But, um, I mean, those guys are doing a great job, and um, just got to keep it up and continue to build on it. Well, I mean, I think um, – I mean, just watching them, watching them on film the, the whole week before, I don't think they were a big, a huge blitz team. So um, I'm not sure they was going to get out of kind of out of character. But um, I, they brought it. They brought it a few times. Like I said, the offensive line and I mean, running backs did a great job picking up picking up blocks and protection. So, hats off to those guys. I mean, we just got to continue to build on it. Um, that was just one of our goals that we set as a team at the beginning of the year to just get better each week. And um, I think we've done that as an offensive unit and as a defensive unit. Um, defense bowed their neck a few times a day. So, I mean, I think as an offense, I mean, we just have to build on this build on this game. And, I mean, we got a tough tough opponent in two weeks. So, I mean, we're ready, to, ready for it and just got to prepare these next two weeks and be ready to go up to um, JMU. So. I don't know. He didn't say nothing to me. Um, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if he wanted to or not. But, I mean, I actually felt that one. I mean, I came over there. <laughs> He did. He did kind of get me, but um, I don't know. I think um, just trying to get the team a little hype or whatever. Um, probably should have went out of bounds, but I mean, uh, he came at me. I came at him. I mean, it's football. So. Did the coaches tell you to slide? Are you under a uh, <laughs> slide and get out of bounds? Yeah. Slide and get out of bounds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How come you never slide and get out of bounds? <laughs> <laughs> That's that. I think that's that that competitive spirit coming out in me. I mean, Dante's always had the tools, um, and I think this year he's just focusing. Um, he's just doing all the right things, and I mean, he's getting this opportunity to play. And I mean, you guys are seeing what he could do. I mean, I knew he had it in him all along, and that whole that whole receiving unit, that whole receiving core, is just that stacked with depth. And I mean, each one of those guys can make plays. Can't forget about Jordan Mitchell, like you said, Grayson and Gray. Um, Max Brokale, we just got, I think we're stacked in that position, and each one of those guys can step up for us, and I think at different times of the year, each one of them are going to be called to have a big game, and um, just looking forward to it, so. Well, for the whole season, the receivers, we um, say we had to get Eric Ward at least 300 yards passing, so today we made that mindset that we wanted at least 300 yards, so it was a collective group thing, we wanted to get Ward over 300, first time in his career, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Well, when we were in like three receivers to one side, they kind of like rolled the coverage, so it was like linebackers against slots, so that's a good matchup for us every time, so we'll take that chance. Not really, it's just war reading the defense, basically, which he does very well, so he throws the ball, just catch it. Simple. <laughs> basically, that's what it is, because war, like you say, he's such a post quarterback, so like, if he has time, he will find an open man, which he does. He showed today, so. Like we just get open, he throws it to us. <laughs> that simple. Yeah, because they run a lot of um, they run a lot of 44 coverage with that safety is a lot of run support. So every play action, they like bite down hard. So we, that was our chance to take shots, basically make the safety bite down. As a defense lineman, we talk. We always talk about it. It's just a lot of different people are going different ways. Fullbacks getting the balls, quarterbacks pulling it out, running outside, inside. Um, all you got to do is play assignment football. As a defensive lineman, we're told defense tackles are told to tackle the dive. The quarter, the defensive ends are told to tackle the quarterback, and the secondary is told to tackle the pitch. So as long as everybody get their guy, you can stop the defense and you stop the offense. But it's just sometimes you, you take a wrong step or you make a mishap and you just miss a guy. But all in all, it's just the time of football.
as a defense, we never took them lightly. Uh, as being, a, being an option offense, they always have the chance to score any play, any down. Um, we go, we came into the game with the mindset that we had to stop the option. Uh, when we were down, when we were up by two touchdowns or ten points, we knew that we had to go out there and make a stance. There was sometimes we make a stance, or sometimes there was miscues. But I would say all in all, as a defense, we came and we, we did what we had to do. And 